Hello friends, and thank you for listening in. We have some more tunes coming up for you in just a bit. But in the meantime, I have some information for you about voting in the November 3rd election, as well as the music you've just heard. 100 years ago, on August 18, 1920, the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was ratified, giving many American women the right to vote. In celebration of this centennial, we are featuring the music of female composers of the 17th and 18th centuries, including the composer on today's program. We know next to nothing about Mademoiselle Blondel, who published this collection of minuets around the year 1760 in Paris, not even her first name. When these dances were published, the minuet had become ubiquitous in the ballrooms of 18th century France. These compact pieces were composed with an open instrumentation in mind. The title page states that they may be played by violin, transverse flute, oboe, par de de viol, cello, or bassoon with an accompanying instrument, or that they may be played by the harpsichord or harp alone. What we do know is that under the regency and reign of Louis XV, women in France began to be recognized in professional musical circles like never before. Female composers, performers, and publishers abound in this period, not to mention the women who were integral to family dynasties of instrument builders and those to whom so much music is dedicated. Despite this, many of these women are never mentioned by their full given names, and their biographies, as well as the extent of their bodies of work, remain a mystery for now. These professional musicians sang at the Paris Opera or in the public subscription concert series, Le Concert Spirituel. Many of these women also composed, and I'd like to mention a few of the ones whose names have been buried by history. Mademoiselle Guédon de Pré was the first known woman to have published a collection of airs for the voice. Mademoiselle Duval wrote the second opera by a woman ever performed at the Paris Opera. Madame Pepavoin composed Cantatiles, a popular genre of vocal music in mid-century France. Mademoiselle Guérin composed an opera at the young age of 16. Did you know that the deadline to register to vote in New York State is Friday, October 9th? For info about your status and your state's deadlines, please go to vote.org. Please share this video widely and encourage others to join and plan their vote for this year.
We also want to acknowledge the Women Composers Collection of the University of Michigan Library, with approximately 2,800 musical works by more than 700 composers. You can visit them at lib.umich.edu and look under Special Collections. Today we honor Mademoiselle Blondel and all of the other women in music whose names we do not know and may never know.